G'day everyone, for the Push for Mental Health Challenge throughout all of June, I'm hoping to not only just post my push-ups on my stories each and every day, but I'm also hoping to do a little bit of a vlog while doing some activities that um, yeah, can sort of generate a conversation about mental health. The main message is just make sure you keep checking up on your mates. Um, yeah, mental health is something that's never going to go away and it never picks and chooses um, who it's going to affect. So yeah, just make sure, keep checking up on your mates, make sure that you're in check and um, yeah, let's keep raising awareness about mental health. Just a bit of a disclaimer as well, um, I have no good push-up form whatsoever. So if you've got any tips, please let me know and don't expect anything fancy in the first couple of days. They're probably going to look shocking. Um, there's no way I'm going to be able to do the whole set in one go. Um, you start off at around 130 and it does pick up to around 200 in a day. So yeah, there's just no way I'm going to be able to do that. So um, that's why I'm choosing to do activities in between and sort of generate a conversation during the video. Hopefully you enjoy. G'day again. Um, so yeah, pretty much this video just is all at Roach Park. I went out there today probably around 11 o'clock. Um, I'm going to do all my push-ups out here, starting off with them right away. And um, yeah, we're going to do a roughly around 600 shots during the session. We're going to do 100 shots in different ways. After the 100 shots, we're going to go back to the push-ups. So um, yeah, like I said, not the best form, but um, yeah, we'll work, we'll work on that. I don't normally make videos like this and make them public, but this is something that's been on my mind for quite some time. I really wanted to give it a really good crack. So hopefully this month we can actually make some good content and uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoy. As most of you might be aware, basketball is definitely my favorite sport, not only because of the competitive nature of the game, but also it tends to get my mind off a lot of things like if I'm busy with uni, stuff going on at home, whatnot. It really does help me just clear my mind. So after the 25 push-ups, I went straight into a drill where I had to run around two cones, meet in the middle, have 100 shots, and I managed to hit 59. So not the best, but um, definitely still working on that. Um, I'm very critical of myself, and this video nearly makes me cringe every time as I'm trying to adjust myself for the right uh, posture. Um, yeah, don't know how to do push-ups. If you look closely at my neck. Yeah, holy cow, that angle is insane. On my neck should definitely not be like that. Anyway, as I continue to do these really bad push-ups, I'm going to explain why I'm sort of jumping at this challenge and it's mainly because I feel like mental health conversations only pop up on particular days, events during the year and whatnot and I know I'm doing this challenge during a month and all that but that is mainly to educate myself to continue the conversation about mental health and just sort of make it a part of everyday life. So yeah, for this one, I just set myself on the baseline, had about three to four seconds between each shot and ended up hitting 58 out of 100, which is not too bad. So for me, I was kind of ignorant before the age of 17 about mental health issues. I kind of thought that, you know, people were just kind of putting it on or people were just, you know, it wasn't that obvious to me. So yeah, after 2017, which was such a shitty time for me, I kind of gained an appreciation of while well, people go through this every day, it's not just... Yeah, it's so hard to explain the emotions and the way people act through mental health. So that's why I think it's so important to keep this conversation going. And yeah, mainly just to educate ourselves and to make sure that we keep we keep this flow of mental health uh, conversations going, not just once or twice a year. That's, that's the main thing. As I could imagine, I bet you're sick of my voice and having a good old laugh for the video because yeah, as you just saw before, I stopped, tried to reposition myself, tried to fix my uh, posture. But yeah, it's, it was just not happening for me today at all. Anyway, after these sets of push-ups, I'm going to go into a bit of a longer drill. I'm going to shut up and just let you kind of soak it all in and watch. Um, it's a bit of a time lapse. I'll go around to three different spots and um, yeah, let's see how I go.
So as you can see there, 46 from 100 from that spot. Um, if you scrubbed right through that part of the video, I completely understand that went forever. Um, I had to get straight back into these push-ups, hurting, like I mean hurting my arms and my legs are just aching all over. So I don't think I managed to rack up too many here. I'm still being super conscious of my posture, trying to lift that head up. I don't know why it wants to go down all the time, but hey, it's only day one. We still got plenty of time to practice. If anyone was wondering at all, the shoes are Cosmic Unities. They only just coming out this year. Um, a really great shoe, really, really great shoe. After those grueling push-ups, I decided to throw myself into a bit of a three-point challenge and work on my three-point shot. I had four seconds in between each shot, 20 shots at each station, and there was five stations. And as you can see, 41 from 100, oh, not the best. Those shots were extremely hard, most of them hitting the front iron and bouncing straight back out. The push-up challenge for mental health organization have actually done an amazing job with teaming up with partners like Headspace, Beyond Blue, Lifeline, all in which help millions of young Aussies each and every year. Just be aware of those kind of organizations and even check them out online because there are so many great resources out there to educate yourself, to get help if you need help. As I signed up for this challenge, there was an option to fundraise and I've chosen not to just because uh, the pandemic, COVID, we're a little bit short on money at the moment, I'm sure of it. Um, but yeah, if you do feel like you want to go and contribute to these um, organization go for it you'll be able to find heaps of links online or even just hit me up if you're not sure about where to go as you can see i just wanted to keep going with a few more push-ups to try and get that tally up but i just couldn't quite push through it so i had to stop so i tried to take a break with a couple of free throws rapid free throws only three seconds in between each one managed to hit 50 of them so that's not too bad with getting above that 50 percent average again from the beginning of the last reel, I was already dreading these push-ups right here because I knew that after half a thousand uh, basketball shots, yeah, these weren't going to be too easy. So they're getting harder and harder. I'm pretty sure I collapsed right on the ground towards the end. Yep, there it is right there. Um, yeah, I just knew I needed another break, have another hundred shots, and then we can get the next lot done. This time to relax my whole body, my arms, my legs, everything, just sort of regroup myself i decided to take 100 slow pace free throws where i got to take time on my whole routine set my body right and try and make the shot so enjoy another time lapse and i'll try not to make it too long let's get it Watching back on this footage, I'm actually surprised we got 60 here because um, that shot form that I had was really, really bad. My arm was not going up straight. It was just pushing all forward, but I guess it's compensating for how sore they would be feeling at the time. Now at this stage, I know I only need 16 more push-ups, and I'm trying to do all 16 in one go, but my body is just not allowing me at the moment. My arms are absolutely dead. I get through about eight, and I come up with a pretty good idea to split them up. I try to keep soldiering on, I try to go down for one more, but it's just another collapse. I get a little bit frustrated, just wishing I could do it all in one go, but I had to understand that I didn't want to hurt myself either. So with all the training and coaching and everything I do before I leave the gym, I always have to hit a half court shot. That's just been something I've always had, I don't know if it's superstition or what, but it's just something I need to do. So I'm going to try and test myself, see how many shots it takes to hit a half court shot, then we'll finish the eight push-ups and we'll be done and dusted for the day.
to be honest. I surprised myself with eight shots, but I'm pretty happy I got there that quick. I thought I'd better do the right thing and go market with an X because I own it. No, I'm just kidding. If anyone wants to find me for it though, you know where I'll be. So yeah, all it took was these eight little push-ups. Well, they didn't feel little at the time. They were quite uh, yeah, heavy as you could imagine. But um, yeah, it was a great session today. Really enjoyed it. And I'm really stoked that I managed to hit the 130 mark with the push-ups. Um, yeah, something I couldn't really imagine myself doing. And uh, yeah, I was pretty happy towards the end there, as you can see. So yeah. So yeah, a massive thank you if you actually stuck around and watched this video. Please remember the cause of the video. This is a mental health awareness video. Make sure you go check in on your mates, check in on yourself. Make sure that you're doing okay too, because this world, it's not easy. Um, yeah, give your mates a call, give them a message, make sure they're doing good, go catch up with them, okay? Just make sure you're doing all the right things for yourself and for the ones that are really close around you, because mental health isn't a joke. Tomorrow, I'm only going to be doing 103 because that's what the app's telling me to do. The app is going to give me uh, something to talk about each and every day. So hopefully I can bring that up with you guys, share a bit of information and um, yeah, peace out. Thank you for uh, watching. Really means a lot. And um, hopefully you don't get too sick of me by the end of the month. But yeah, I'm hoping to put these out every day. So yeah, peace.